Hey, it's Rick here, and this is the Distronic case for the iPhone 5. It's a TPU case that's frosted in color, and I picked this up on Amazon for about $11.95, and I'll link it in the description if you want to pick it up as well. Uh, let's go ahead and put it on the phone. Always use your buttons first, so lay those into place. And I do have a poetic crystal clear screen protector on my phone. I mentioned that because, as you will see, this case works with it. It doesn't create any bubbling, lifting, or anything like that. The case is going to provide a minor level of lay on the table. I mean that the edges of this case all the way around rise up ever so slightly above the screen of your iPhone. So if you lay it face down on a table, your screen's not touching the table, the case is. As we take a look along the side, you can see your buttons as well as your rocker switch for the mute or for your silent, I should say. Very easy to get to, not a problem there. Up along the top, your button is enclosed as well. These are all very clickable and easy to press. I have no issues with those. Along this side, all enclosed. Down along the bottom here, you can see what that looks like. And everything is opened and none of those speaker holes or uh, mic holes are covered. So that's nice to see your headphone jack. I would venture to say if you've got an oversized uh, headphone jack, you're going to have some issues because this comes right to the edge. So you can only use pretty much standard headphones with this case. Your lightning port, well, that's also a situation here. Your standard charging cable is going to work fine. If you're going to use a 30 pin to lightning adapter, you're going to run into some issues with this. The adapter without the cable attached is not going to work. It won't fit because of this and this here. Uh, the one with the cable, you can just barely get it to fit. Let's take a look at the back side. There's some Diztronic logo at the bottom. Again, a frosted look that will not show scratches, but over time it's definitely going to show a lot of fingerprints. So you got to keep this case clean by wiping it down. And I will say that just holding it has kind of a tacky feel to it. It feels a little bit sticky in the hand. Not really fond of that feel, but that's the nature of this style of TPU case. The camera cutout is not lined with a black ring, and so that in my initial tests have proven uh, some washout in your photos and videos when the LED flash is firing. So you're going to get a little bit of a whiteout effect. Nothing major, but a little bit of a whiteout effect. It's a Distronic. You know, it comes in at under 15 bucks, so you can't really go wrong if you're looking for a kind of a really plain case. But because of the things that I mentioned, I'm going to give it a three out of five. I'm not overly impressed by it, and there's certainly a lot of other cases I would recommend before this one. But again, if you want to pick up a standard TPU case for under 15, maybe take a look at this one. It gets my three out of five. If you guys have questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I'll talk to you next time. Take care, everybody, and have fun.